Wait, hold on. That's not a default property. Well, if you're using a custom music control, you can actually add your own, and I'm going to show you how to do that right now. In C Sharp, a property is an accessor or get method, and a mutator or set method, similar to Java. A big difference is that C Sharp combines the two into only one method, whereas Java needs two separate methods. When an object inherits the user control class, Visual Studio will display the method in the properties panel. Here's the logic behind our program. We have a user control with a text box, an OK button, and a back color. When we click OK, the text in the box will be saved to a variable and change the background to a random color. When we click display, that text will be shown at the text box at the bottom. So I want to make this video as short as possible, so that's why we're skipping ahead right to the code. Let's create a global variable, we're going to name it private string my text, and that's an empty string. Next we're going to create a new method, make it public, it's a string, that's a return type, and we're going to name the new property, the text, put in brackets, put in a get and set methods. Traditionally you want to put the get first and then the set. And in the get, you're going to return the value of my text. So type in return, my text semicolon. Now in the mutator method, or the set method, we're going to set the value of our private variable by using the reserved word value. So my text equals value semicolon. And what's cool is that you can actually do other stuff in this too. In this case, we're changing the back color. Now our OK button is going to set the property of the text. So to do that, just type in the text equals and then whatever your value is, or in this case, txttext.txt. Txt text the text box if you didn't catch on. Now we're going to program the display button action. What it's going to do is going to get the value of the text from our user control and then it's display in that brown text box. So to do that, txt, excuse me, txt text entered, or that other text box, that text, equals the user control one one dot the text. We're just getting that value. Now build your solution to update the user control and if you take a look at the properties you'll see that one of the properties is the text now. You can modify that and it'll modify the user control as well. So let's test it out in action. Let's run it. And let's change the text to something random. As you can see, it works. And that's it. Those are properties, accessors, and mutators in C Sharp. So thanks for watching this video. I hope it helps you. Please subscribe. If it does, click like, Facebook, share, I don't care.